name is Amanda Campo, and I'm the onboarding specialist for BuzzTime. In this video, we're going to review how to set up advertisements for your BuzzTime TVs. First, log into the BuzzTime marketing website, my.buzztime.com. Once you're there, log in with your username and password. If you don't remember your username or password, you can always reach out to your BuzzTime account rep and they'll assist you with logging in. Once you're logged in, go to the My Ads tab. As I'm sure you noticed, your BuzzTime TVs are split into three different sections, which you can see outlined on these tabs at the top of the page. Each tab represents a different portion of your BuzzTime TV. It defaults to the My Ads list, which you can see highlights that main largest portion of your BuzzTime screen. This is the area that your games and questions appear. You have eight advertisement spaces that'll run in this area during our commercial breaks. So basically in between rounds and in between games. To the right, you have the My Zone List tab, which highlights that side left-hand portion of your BuzzTime TV. In this area, you have unlimited ads that'll run 24 seven. So basically the My Zone List is completely dedicated to advertisements and they'll just constantly be running throughout the day. The next tab over to the right allows you to upload your logo to run in the upper left-hand corner of your BuzzTime TV. To add your logo, simply come to this tab, select a file of your logo from your computer, and select the Save Logo button at the bottom of the page. The final tab to the right allows you to change your BuzzTime TV background. Usually the BuzzTime TV screens default to this dark blue background that you see here, but if you wanted to switch up the color or the theme to better fit your venue, you can select from any of the backgrounds that we provide on this page. If you want to see how any of these changes look on your best time screens, just click the preview tab over to the far left. Let's go ahead and create a sample advertisement for your My Zone list. To get started, click the create new ad button. That's going to take you to the first of three steps for creating an advertisement. Step one is selecting the background. As you can see from these tabs at the top of the page, we have three different types of backgrounds to choose from, starting with static backgrounds. These are stationary backgrounds provided by BuzzTime. To the left, we have animated backgrounds. These are backgrounds that will move around or animate when they come up on your BuzzTime TVs. If you'd like to see how the ad will look, you can click the preview box that pops up when you hover over the template. One thing to keep in mind about the animated ads are they're all templates, so you want to make sure your message will fit within the provided format. To the right, we have a tab for custom backgrounds. This is in case you have a picture or a flyer that you would like to run as your ad background. Simply come to custom backgrounds, click on add new, and select a JPEG file from your computer. Once that JPEG file is uploaded, it'll appear in this area underneath for you to select as your ad background. Now, we do have size requirements for our JPEG files. For the MyZone ads, they need to be at least 360 pixels wide and 480 pixels tall. You can always use Paint or a different media formatting tool to resize your JPEG file if needed. But if you're not sure how to do that, or if you just don't have time, we know you guys are really busy, you can always feel free to email your BuzzTime account rep with your JPEG file and they'll reformat and upload it for you. For this example, we're going to select a static background. We're going to create a happy hour background for our bus time location. As I'm sure you noticed above the backgrounds, we have about 15 pages worth of backgrounds you can choose from. So that's a lot. To help narrow down our options, I'll go to this category drop down menu and I'm going to select food or drink since that's usually what happy hour is all about. This narrows down our options to all of our food and drink themed backgrounds, and we have a couple pages to choose from. A couple of these selections are specifically for happy hour, so I'm going to go ahead and go with this guy here. Once your background selected, you move on to the next step, which is editing your background. First thing I do in this step is change the ad name. On your background, you have a text box that says enter your message here. This message will appear on every background you select, including customized backgrounds. So if you wanted to run an ad without any additional text, just make sure you select the delete text box button to the top right above your background. Otherwise your ad's going to run saying into your message here, which I'm sure you guys don't want. 
Above the background, above the text box, we have this grayish white bar that if you right click, hold down and drag, allows you to position your text wherever you'd like on your background. Over to the right, we have these double arrows that if you right click, hold down and drag, allows you to reposition the size of your text box and gives you more room to move around on the background. I'm going to go ahead and enter in some details about happy hour. To add a text box, just click the add text box button to the top right above your background. That gives you more room to input another message. Now that our information is entered, it's kind of plain, kind of hard to read. So I'm going to use these tools above the background to format our message. Using these tools, you can change the font type, the font size, and this gray box here lets you change the font color. You can even change the alignment as it appears in your text box. Each text box can be a different font type, font size, and font color. Once you have all of your details entered, I like to click the preview add button to the top center above your background. What that does, it gets rid of your text box outlines so you can see how your ad will appear as it would on your BuzzTime TVs and then decides if you'd like to make any adjustments. If you're happy with how everything looks, then click Save Ad and that'll take you to the final step of creating a background. The final step of creating an advertisement is scheduling your ad. We have a start date which defaults to now and an end date which defaults to never, which is great for an ongoing promotion like happy hour or a weekly event. We also have these calendar tools underneath so you can pre-schedule your ad in advance and you can schedule an end date so you don't have to worry about your advertisement continuing to run after your event or promotion has ended. Underneath we have days to run your ad. You can select every day of the week or just the specific days that adhere to your special. Finally, because the My Zone ads run all day every day, you have this nifty timer tool at the bottom of the page so you can select the start and end time for your advertisement. Just simply right click and drag the start timer tool to when you would like your ad to begin running and right click and drag the end timer tool to when you would like your ad to stop running throughout the day. Finally, Make sure the box next to your site name is checked, otherwise your ad is not going to run. It usually checks itself automatically, but it never hurts to double check, no pun intended. Once you have all of your details entered, click Save Schedule, and that's gonna create and run your advertisement. When you create your advertisements, they'll appear in a list, so they'll just pile up around this guy when you add more. If you hover over the ad name, it'll give you a mini view of what your advertisement looks like. To the left, it comes with a nifty color coordinated flag. A green flag means that your ad is scheduled and set to run. Yellow means that it's unscheduled and red means that it's archived. To the far right, you have your action items. So you can always come back in later to edit, reschedule or delete your ad completely. To create an advertisement in your My Ads List area, that main largest portion of your BuzzTime TV where the games appear, just click your My Ads List tab, select New Ad, and follow the exact same process we just went through. The only difference is if you decide to create a customized ad, the size requirements are a little different since the My Ads List is a different size and shape than your My Zone area. So that's how you set up a Buzz Time advertisement. Hope you found this video helpful and make sure to check out our other training videos on our marketing website and also Buzz Time Basics and Best Practices for other easy and fun ways to promote Buzz Time for your business. Also, make sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter to get more updates and tricks about buzz time.